Welcome to SAP SD Configuration. My name is Keith Milford and I am your instructor. In this lecture, we will cover the configuration for plant, storage location, and shipping point. Let's first discuss what these mean conceptually. In SAP, a plant is any area that can hold stock. This could be a manufacturing facility, or perhaps a distribution center, or maybe even just a long-term storage facility. Storage locations are subsections of the plant. For example, the blue area may represent where manufacturing and rework is done. The yellow could represent small package and fast pick area. And the green area could represent pallets and long-term storage. Areas that won't be holding stock, like the lounge and the cafeteria, don't need to be part of a storage location. The number of storage locations and the boundaries of these storage locations is really up to the company to decide. You can even have a van as a storage location because some technicians might store some material in the van. But for this example, we're going to keep it to three storage locations. The last concept is a shipping point, and this is the location where you're shipping the material. If a plant only has one area from which it ships material, oftentimes the shipping point has the same identification as the plant. For this example, we're just going to assume there's one shipping point for the entire plant. Let's go configure plant A in SAP. Here we are in the SAP home screen. Type in SPRO to go to the configurations. Hit the button SAP Reference IMG. The plant configuration is in the Enterprise Structure Definition Logistics General. Click on the second icon for plants. Double click on define plants. And we can create a new plant by pressing new entries. We start by giving it a unique four character identification. It could be anything you want, but I'm gonna start out with D for delicious desserts and A for plant A, and then a zero zero just to round it out. Let's imagine this plant is in Portland, Oregon, and I'll put that as part of the name. I will give it a US factory calendar and press save. Plants need an address, so be sure you fill in the name and the address when you're doing your configuration. I'm just gonna fill in a couple of fields here, but I wanna be sure to put in the transportation zone. I'm not gonna cover the details of what this is right now, but I want you to fill it in. All right, save it, and we have done our first plant. The next step is to configure the three storage locations that we wanted for this plant. So this is gonna be in the materials management area where we can maintain the storage location. It's asking for plant, DA00 is already there. Press new entries and we can enter our new storage locations. Each storage location within the plant requires a unique four character identification and a description. For this example, we're gonna keep our storage location and descriptions very generic. In real life, you're gonna to wanna to give these identifications and descriptions some good meaning. For example, like main or the rework area or something that people will understand. Let's save. Now, technically, every storage location could have its own unique address, but oftentimes that is overkill, so we're not gonna do that here. Now, we go to logistics execution to find the shipping point. Click on Define Shipping Point, and then New Entries. Since our plant only had one shipping point, let's go ahead and use the same DA00, but give it a little better description of Portland's shipping point. I will fill in a factory calendar of US so that we know what days we are allowed to ship from this area. And like usual, when I press Save, SAP will want an address. As always, don't be lazy like me. Be sure to fill in the name and the address like you're supposed to. But I am gonna make sure I fill in the transportation zone. This is necessary for SAP to do route determination and to figure out how long it takes the product to get to the customer. Notice that the departure zone is updated with Northwest, which is what I put for the transportation zone. Save it and we're good to go. Now we have completed all of our definitions. Now we gotta do the assignments. Our plant has to belong to a company, so we assign our plant to a company code. Press New Entries. And here we tell SAP that our company code of DU10 owns the plant DA00. Click Save. The next thing we need to do is to tell SAP 
what sales organizations and distribution channels are allowed to use this plan. We go to the icon Assign Sales Organization, Distribution Channel, and Plan. Click New Entries. And we have to tell SAP that our new sales organization with the distribution channel is allowed to sell from this plan. We have to do this for every valid combination. Now, if you remember, we had a distribution channel of D2 which was frozen, and perhaps this plant doesn't have a frozen facility, so I am not going to configure it for that scenario. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this and move on. The last assignment we're going to cover in this lecture is the assignment of the shipping point to the plant. Go in the Logistics Execution folder, and we will find the icon for Assign Shipping Point to Plant. Now, this screen looks a little different, but there's not much to it. On the far left, you see the plant, and then on the right-hand side is the associated shipping points. We see here our Portland plant does not have an assignment, so let's go ahead and press Assign, and find our shipping point within this list. We only have one, so we check mark the DA00, but really, we could add multiple if we need to. Let me scroll down just a little bit to show that our Portland plant is now associated with our Portland shipping point. Save it, and we have now completed our very first plant configuration. The next example is to highlight that a plant doesn't necessarily have to represent one building. Just like Plant A, we're going to have three storage locations in the main building, and perhaps another building for a freezer. We will assume one shipping point for this entire plant. Okay, back in SAP configurations, we're going to scroll back to the top to define plant. Click on define plant, and then new entries. Like before, let's give it a designation of DB00, and let's assume this is a Miami location. I give it a factory calendar of US, click Save, and it will ask me a little more information for the address. As usual, I'm going to skip a lot of these fields, but be sure you fill in yours. I still want to highlight, though, that you should be filling in the transportation zone on the plant. Miami is in the southeast. Click that, and we are good to go for this plant definition. Now it's time for us to go configure the storage locations for this plant. Like we did before, go to the icon Maintain Storage Location, put in our plant of DB00, and click on New Entries. We're going to configure the storage locations like we did for Plant A. Now we can reuse the storage location IDs that we did for plant A because the IDs only have to be unique within each plant. The difference for plant B is we're going to have one more storage location and we're going to give it an ID of FRZR for freezer. We will give it a little better description. Perhaps we'll say freezer or frozen foods. And that completes the definition of our storage locations for plant B. Let's save this off and move on to the definition of the shipping point for Plant B. Let's find the icon that says Define Shipping Point. Double-click Define Shipping Point and then click New Entries. This is just like we did for Plant A, except for Plant B we want DB00. And let's give it a good description of Miami Shipping Point. Not much different than what we did for our previous plan. Go ahead and put in the factory calendar US. Click Save. Once again, I'm lazy. You go ahead and fill in all this information, but I do want to highlight again that the transportation zone right here needs to be filled in for routing to work correctly. There is a lecture later in this course specifically on routes and route determination. All right, so we have completed this shipping point definition. We can now proceed with assignments, and the first one is assign a plant to the company code. Click on New Entries, and like before, we're going to use the DU10 company code, and we're going to associate it with our new plant, DB00. Not much to it. Let's save and move on to the next area. We need to tell SAP which sales organizations and distribution channels are allowed to sell from this plant. Click New Entries, and we're going to associate this plant with all the sales organizations and distribution channels that we made for the U.S. This is going to be very similar to what we did for Plant A, except for this one we're going to have a distribution channel for Frozen, and then we fill in the rest like we did before. 
Okay, wrap this up. Go ahead and save. And we will move on to the last assignment, which is going to be the shipping point to the plant. Just like with plant A, plant B was a very simple situation. So all we have to do is find our new plant in this list. And here we go, the Miami plant. Nothing is currently signed, so I click on Assign and find the shipping point within our list. Okay, checkbox in DB00, and just make sure we have it. Let's scroll up. Yep, Miami plant with the shipping point. Okay, so everything is completed for plant B now. For the plant B situation, we had two buildings but one plant. But as a company, you can decide that you really want each building to have its own plant. When would you use one or the other? Well, one of the things to consider is how difficult is it physically to move product between the two buildings. If it's fairly easy, you might want to go for the storage location technique. However, if you have to load a truck in order to move the materials, you might consider going with two separate plants. For this demo, we're going to do two different plants. For plant C, we're going to do three main storage locations. And for plant D, we're just going to have one storage location. Now, even though these are two different plants, I can still have one shipping point for both of these locations. Let's take a look in SAP. Here we are on our configuration tree. Let's go ahead and click on the icon for defining our plant. And as usual, we do the new entries. This is plant C, so following our naming convention, DC00. Let's assume this is in the Phoenix area for that main plant. SAP wants an address as usual, don't be lazy like me, but I just want to highlight you should be doing the transportation zone in here. We have completed C. Let's do plant D as well, but instead of doing new entries, let's go ahead and copy C and use this technique. So I can adjust the identifier right here to D and change the description instead of main, let's do the auxiliary. Since we copied, a lot of fields from the address already came across, including the transportation zone. Let's click save one last time just to be sure. And let's go ahead and define our storage locations. This is not much different than what we did in past. Maintain storage location, put in our DC00. Click on new entries and I will enter this real quickly for all three storage locations. Save as normal and we can move on to plant D. So one way to do that is to get out, get back in, we want plant DD00. Just like normal, we would do the new entries. Now, this one only has one storage location, so it's a very simple plant. I'm going to use 0001 just to highlight that you can do it, but when you have two plants that are very similar and close together, that might not be the best idea. But in any case, I'm going to consider this done and move forward to the definition of the shipping point. Double click on shipping point here. New entries. Now I'm going to mirror this after plant C, but really this shipping point is going to be applying to the plant C and the plant D. Fill in the factory calendar of US, click save, and SAP prompts us for the address. As usual, I'm being lazy and I'm not filling out everything, but I still want to highlight that you should be doing the transportation zone here. Very important for routes. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. Give it the normal transport I've been using. Make sure we have a departure zone, which is southwest. Looks good. And now let's proceed to the assignments of everything. So we begin with the assignment of plant to company code. Click on new entries. We will do both of the DC00 and the DD00 at the exact same time. Okay, looks good. Press save. And we can proceed to the next step of assigning our plants to the sales organization and distribution channel. Let's see if I can find it here. There we go. Click new entries. For each of these plants, I'm going to assume that neither one is really a freezer. It's just kind of a normal auxiliary for plant D. So let's fill in all of our U.S. sales organizations with the distribution channel of D1. Almost done here, press save, and we are now done with this portion. Moving on to the assigning shipping point to plant. As we've done before, find our new plants, which is DC00 and DD00. 
Here we go. Here's our DC00. Click on Assign. Find our new shipping point within our list here. Choose the one that we want. And let's move on to Plant DD00. Same exact thing we did before because we were using the same shipping point for both of these plants. So I will save and wrap this up. That's it for this lecture. Thank you very much. My name is Keith Milford, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Mm -hmm.